Hello guys! Being a web developer, you must have thought sometimes to access your locally developed website or web application from outside of your computer. But generally your website can be accessed using local host, from your own computer only, not from the outside world, right? Today I'm going to show you how you can turn your computer into a public web server and access your site from anywhere. Does that sound interesting? If so, just keep watching the video till the end. Before starting with anything, let me show you that I have already developed two simple web pages, index.html and next.html. The pages contain few lines of HTML code and some simple styling. Index.html page has one link to go to the next.html page. Now if I go to my browser and open the page using my localhost URL, you can see the outcome of the index.html page. Clicking on link I'm being redirected to next.html. For your information let me show you that. In my system web server is installed and running by which I can open the pages using localhost. Now I shall make this web page available from outside of my computer. Let's say from my mobile. Okay, so first search in Google and GROC. Next click on download link. And from their official site download and GROC for your operating system. For me it is Windows. It will take few moments to be downloaded. Download is completed now. Unzip the downloaded file to any specific location. Now go to inside the folder where you have extracted it. Open a command prompt here. And just type in grock.exe, http80, and press enter. Now you can see there are two URLs in your screen. One is for HTTP and another is for HTTPS. Using these two URL, I can access websites or web applications, which are running in my PC. Now I'm opening web browser in my mobile. Let me enter the URL from the screen here, and then slash demo site. As you can see the site is now available in my mobile too, so using these URL I can access any site from my PC to any other devices, and my computer is now acting like a public web server. Okay, so that's it for now. Let me know in the comment section if this seems to useful and interesting. If you enjoy this video please like. Also subscribe channel Codeboard for many such interesting topics. Thank you all for watching.